Foundation and Texas Congressman Mike McCall is chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee. Sir, how are you? And good morning to you. And thank you for coming back here well, on America's thanks. News. And what is your sense about what's happening within the FBI now with regards to the Clinton Foundation, a story that was largely buried given the news of Anthony Weiner's laptop on Friday? Well, I know there is an ongoing investigation. The uh, director in congressional testimony uh, indicated uh, that. And so I think, you know, on, on those two unrelated to the email investigations, it is normal practice. I worked at the department uh, not to uh, indict just right before an election. I think in the email case, it's a unique case uh, because it you know, came out of a congressional investigation. And Jim Comey, when he testified before Congress, uh, told us that if new evidence developed in the case, that this case that had been completed uh, would be reopened. So he simply gave us an update uh, as he promised he would do so. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say it's unique, but in, in what other sense would that be? Okay, so it comes out of Congress. What, how significant would that be as opposed to a private citizen that would bring in information? Because of the nature of the case, the fact that he came before Congress and told us that if new evidence arose, he would update us uh, on the case. Uh, Mrs. Clinton has been running around saying she's been cleared uh, and the investigation is over, when in fact that is not a correct statement. Uh, there is now a new evidence uh, reopening the case uh, and evidence that could be quite damaging. Remember, to get a search warrant, you have to have probable cause, uh -huh. and they had probable cause to get a search warrant for these emails on Huma Abedin's laptop. If she wins next Tuesday, what happens to that investigation? Well, that's uh, something I've been talking about that hasn't been mentioned very much, and that is this investigation will continue uh, whether she wins or not, but assuming she wins uh, and the investigation goes forward and it looks like an indictment is pending, at that point in time under the Constitution, uh, the House of Representatives would uh, engage in an impeachment trial. It would go to the Senate and impeachment proceedings and removal would take place. Uh, remember, this the only last time I can recall when this happened was Richard Nixon, uh, who was impeached. Uh, and resigned before he would have been to move office. Mm -hmm. uh, and then a member, uh, Gerald Ford, pardoned uh, him from any criminal wrongdoing. Uh, I would hate to see this country being thrown into a constitutional crisis because of Hillary Clinton's behavior. Okay, now we, um, we have talked to you quite often for various investigations on homeland security, et cetera. But you are six days away from a national election, and you've used the I word. Um, uh, you want to take that back? I'm sorry, the I word. Impeachment. Impeachment. I, again, I think with the new emails, if they're classified information, particularly emails that could you have intent uh, in, in those emails. We saw Podesta's uh, WikiLeaks uh, email saying to dump all these emails. That's getting a little closer uh, to intent. If we see an email that says, I know that's classified, but send it anyway, that would be the kind of smoking gun the FBI is looking for. That then, I think, would be the grounds for an indictment. I've said all along, Bill, this should have gone before a grand jury uh, to take the politics out of this. This would not be a, a, a unique case to go before a grand jury, as I've done many times uh, in the past. For whatever reason, they chose not to do that. I think there's ample evidence with the probable cause to get the search warrant now to go before the grand jury and present this new evidence. Wow, Mike McCall from Texas, sir. Thank you for coming back today. Strong stuff. Thanks a lot, Bill. 21 passed.